What's up, everybody? Welcome back to episode 39 of Top 10 Topics with my co-host, Smiley. Man, first of all, I cannot skip over Spooktober, man. It's October's Halloween season, man. It's like one of my favorite holidays, man. But y'all can't tell my hands. I got like oh, a camera. Uh, got my Jason and all this right here on my hand, man. So I'm a big Halloween guy. On my legs, got Michael Myers. So I'm a big Spooktober guy, if y'all ain't know by now. But, uh, man, Spooktober, man, we'll get into a little Halloween fun. Man, we'll get, us, get into some little NFL talk. Get into a little bit of Bronny James and, and more. So, man, stick around right after this. What's up, Smiley? What's going on, man? Man, I'm chilling, man. Man, it's Spooktober, man. It's Halloween season, man. I'm so excited about that, man. It's that time of the year, man. Let's get to scare these little motherfuckers. Yeah. Yeah. Scare these little motherfuckers. I might sleep in this shit tonight. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> the other shirt, yeah, hey. before they made the, before they made the switch, man. I'm like, I have my other shirt. I'm like, I'm not watching this motherfucker till they win another game, bro. You know what I'm saying? So man. I can watch it. Hey. I can watch it. I got hey. I got seven weeks of funk out of that one. I can I can throw that shit. You know, watch it. <laughs> but we won the game. Hey. So see, this is what happens when you have the same T, but you change the bag. You get what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. Deshaun Watson went, got down, got hurt, and the coach immediately ran to the coward role and said, hey, guess what? Since he hurt, I'm going to pass it over to the guy who's supposed to, that we paying to make these calls. So I'm not going to make them no more because this ass didn't want to take the blame that he was the reason why we are one, was one and six at the time that we are now two and six. Okay? Right. He, was a, he, he was the main, main reason for that. You know what I'm saying? But he didn't want right. to take that blame. He didn't want to take, so he gave it over to Dorsey, and look what we did today. We put up, fuck, man, we put up 29 points. We didn't have a quarterback. Man, did a hell of a... Last time a quarterback threw for over 300 yards was Baker Mayfield. Hey, that was ancient times. That was ancient history. Yeah. But, man, hey, hey, I, I got I to gotta take it all, man. The Browns played a hell of a game, man, from start to finish, man. They came out swinging, man. I mean, it was like a, it was a whole, it was a totally different team, man, when you came out of the locker room and you seen Jameis Winston, man, as my guy sipping on that, uh, on that, on that nice drink over there, my man. Beer, a cold, man. Nice I gotta, cold. I gotta group. celebrate my smiley cup with my beer. <laughs> nice, nice little brew over there. Mm -hmm. But man, hey, you can just see the energy that came out of the locker room, man. The way Jameis Winston approached the game, man. He came in there like a like a professional, man. That uh, was ready for the moment. He was ready for the excitement. He knew everything that was gonna come to him, man. And he played fearless, man. And that's one thing I say about Jameis. He played fearless. Was it all there? Did he throw some play some passes at the end of the game that was kind of like, ooh, buddy? Ooh, like I'm saying. He he throw some shit out there, man. But one thing about about about, about James, man, he don't let his balls hang. He don't let his testicles hang and let him let you know that he is a man. And he gonna take that on the chin if he make a mistake. But here's another thing, though. You said the most important thing when you started this conversation. You said he came out as a leader. Okay, right. that's what a quarterback is. Deshaun Watson, right. no no throwing a hatchet because the man is down now. But he wasn't a leader. You know what I'm saying? He made poor decisions. That's why he had to pay forty three million dollars. Because of uh, the massage shit. Bad decision. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, bad decision. Bad decision, man. Because you could have easily got that shit done without the women suing you. I mean, man, dude, come on, man. I ain't got that kind of money, man. I used to get it done all the time. Ain't nobody, maybe mine wasn't big enough. I don't know. Maybe that's what it was. Oh, my God. <laughs> my, my, my penis didn't have pro, pro quality to it. So they said, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> It's like a cigarette. We throw that shit to the side. We get that. And, and, and had that 250 50 million dollar deal. That's over what you, I'm man. talking but, about. Hey, suing you, they ain't getting shit. That's it. <laughs> suing him, they getting a whole lifetime change. <laughs> but hey, today was good. It's crazy. Here's another thing about today's NFL. How many black quarterbacks did we have win today? How many black quarterbacks we had win today, partner? Ja ah. Jameis, who else? Jameis won. I didn't watch one. Hurst won. Kyler Murray won. Love one. Uh, either way it goes, somebody gonna win. I see, I see, I actually, actually, Malik Willis won that one. Uh, Malik Willis won that same, one. Same, Black quarterback, yeah, same, same shit. And, and the Washington hey, it was game, a brother. The Washington game, we can flip a coin on that one because there's two brothers throwing a rock on that one. So, oh, yeah. J and J Mahomes going to win today against the Raiders. Oh, so, hey, you think that? You chocolate think so? Sunday, baby. Chocolate Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> But man, I'm proud of the brownies, man. Cause the last conversation we had, man, we was we was a little we was pissed off, man. We were sick of we were sick and tired of being a brownies fan on your end. No, I was I'm never, never a brownies never, fan. I'm never, never tired of being a brownies fan, man. Listen, this shit is bulletproof. You know what I'm saying? This, this don't even hurt no more. They done lost so many games. It don't even hurt. You know what I'm saying? Right at the last minute, they could have been on the one yard line and kicked the field goal and missed it. 
what I'm saying? On from the one. They could have missed the field goal from the one. It wouldn't have hurt. It wouldn't, well, we used to the man. lose, man. We used we have a certain face that we have to have to be a Browns fan. You know what I'm saying? What? Let me ask you a question. What stuck out to you about the about Jameis Winston today, though? What's one thing that uh, stuck leadership. out to you about him? His leadership. Okay. Jameis Winston entered the game today knowing he was like a you have a captain that 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 sails a ship, all right, and then you have a captain that can sail a ship through a storm. Okay. He's the storm sailing captain. Okay. Deshaun right. West or Deshaun Watson was just the captain that could sail a yacht. That could sell a, 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 a pretty nice boat through a nice calm water. You know what I'm saying? When Jameis Winston, when the sea get rough and the sea is raw and shit, he turned into Noah. He turned that bitch into an ark, man. You know what I'm saying? He put everybody in that bitch, make everybody feel safe, and we gonna roll this motherfucker, man. And that's exactly what he did. He rolled the shit. I, 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 my biggest takeaway was the was the competitive nature from the defense, the defense, the secondary, the secondary for the for the Browns and the offensive line, man. The offensive line. Show surge, man. They show surge. They show heart after the play. They was pushing guys on the ground. I mean, I mean, it was something about Jameis Winston being back there that they was gonna do all they could to protect that guy. Was it all pretty? Hell no. It's football is never gonna be all pretty. But the small things, man. Giving guy, giving him a little bit of time back there to make a decision. Yeah. There's times back there where Jameis Winston was back there doing this shit. I'm like, bro, all that protection, throw the ball, throw it away, get rid of it. But that was showing the old line was battling, man. They was they was they was putting their foot down, and I didn't see that same type of competitive nature when Deshaun Watson was back. Not at all. So that makes me think. That makes me think. What is really going on in the locker room with Deshaun Watson? Is it some type of confusion between the Watson and the team? I'm not sure because the offensive line haven't changed. The same guys out there. I mean, let's it's nothing different. It was let's put on this. And, and, and getting that, this is the only way I can truly sum that up. Is that it's like Mama being mean as hell. Just uh, blah, blah, blah. everything y'all do, sit down, don't play, cut the TV off. You know, what I'm mama just being mean as hell, and dad just sitting back watching this shit. As soon right. as she leave to go shopping, hey, she go, man, yay, party. The whole atmosphere changed, and that's what it was when when when, when uh, Watson got hurt. You know what I'm saying? When Watson got hurt, it was a relief, a release off of them. You know what I'm saying? Because they want to play football. They know what this guy's doing, man. You know what I'm saying? You've been on the field. You know what goes on in the locker room. There's two faces, man. You know what I'm saying? There's game face, and then there's practice face. And the practice right. face, that's the face that they see every day. Right. You only, we only see and game face one time as, as fans. We only see game face one time. That's on Sundays. But those let practice let players see that face every day in practice. I agree with that. Let me ask you this, too. They just got back Nick Chubb last week, man. How big do you think Nick Chubb con contribution, man? That is just him playing. His his presence being back in uniform on the sideline, warming up, all that has a factor to do with this team starting to turn around. Well, that has a lot to do with the work ethnic and the and the and the, and the passion that they saw with Nick Chubb went through. Okay, they was there right. with him when he got hurt. It wasn't like that he was skiing right. or he was hunting and accidentally hatchet cut his leg or something like that, and they wasn't with him when the injury occurred. They always with him. They saw him in the hospital. They visit him. They watch him go through his rehab. They saw how hard his work was and how dedicated he is. So they have to look at themselves eventually on deep down on the inside. If this man can bust his hump and, and give his all, give his all, man, we can do right. the same thing when we all come together. But there was a poison right. chemistry with Deshaun Watson and the offensive line and the ball players on that team. There was there was a we, problem there, man. People got sisters. People got women, man. You, you know how shit going in the locker room, man. Fuck that bitch. Oh, fuck that. He could be talking like that. He's the one person that can't say any of that, man. He's he he can't even say, "Ain't that a bitch?" Who? You ready to slap his ass? <laughs> 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 you know. So hey, hey. I'm just saying, man, what do you think the disconnect was with Deshaun Watson and the team? What do you think? Because we neither one of us in the locker room, neither one of us know the guy personally. What do you think it is? Because we've seen two different types of teams today, from it, last it was, week it, or two weeks ago to this week. To me, it was the, 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 the disconnection, the, the disconnection of him being the leader of that team. Hey, man, check this out. Let's go golfing tomorrow, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, y'all, let's go bowling. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, come over to my house, man. We got a movie night, man. Bring your girl. Bring your chick. He didn't make the team felt like he was a, a, a leader to that team. You know what I'm saying? Which right. you know how that worked with your boy. Hey, man, let's go. Right, you in right. Jacksonville. Hey, man, let's go down to the beach, man. You know, Let's go race some jet skis and right. shit. You know, let the right. girls go throw right. some meat on. Let, let the girls do some cooking in the kitchen. We in the backyard. We shoot food right. in the yard. Th that's the right. chemistry right. that you have with teammates. And you know that because you have teammates. I've, I've seen you 
uh, talk to your teammates and have fun with them and, right. and laugh and bullshit. So when you got that type right. of uh, you got that type of chemistry and you got that trust. That's what I would really want to call it. Trust. I'll leave it at that. It's trust. They cannot trust Deshaun Watson. You cannot trust him. It's not the fact that what he'll do to you. It's what he'll do to himself that will affect you. Because that's what has done. He has self-destructed. Everything that has happened to him is something he's done to himself. Nobody else done it to him except for this Achilles. And that was God. Because, I mean, the way his ankle separated... You know, God don't like ugly, man. He ain't crazy about beauty, bro. I'm, I'm not you. laughing about injury, bro. I'm not laughing at his injury. My father, I'm laughing at his injury. Yeah. But the way you put it, same size, his injury, his Achilles. Yeah. I mean, that was God. Yeah. The way that shit. Well, you scared, man. man. You said that he humbles you, man. God humbles you, man. You can't keep walking over here, man. Dude, the Browns took care of this man. They gave him a 40 million. They gave him 240, man. They gave him a big ass contract. Took money out that contract. Paid his lawsuit. After they got through paying his lawsuit, restructured his contract. Now you out of trouble. Give me your all. Give me your all, Deshaun. He didn't. He didn't. You can tell by the, you, you know street football. He running around. I play quarterback. When you backpedaling and throwing the ball off your back foot, your decision has to be made on that line of scrimmage. You know that, Derwin. If, if, if y'all supposed right. to run a sweep, if y'all running a sweep and they lining up heavy on that side, they lining up heavy on that side, man, you counter the back end, don't you? You counter the weak yeah, side. Yeah, for sure. If they, for if, sure. if they flood that right side, you know you're supposed to run a sweep on that right side. You stay in that same formation. And you counted the you counted the back door in. For sure. Why can't he do that? Why can't he change the play? Hey. He the quarterback. Hey. He the captain. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it's easy said than done, man. Sometimes How when he's been there for all this time? Is that he went from a four time pro? I mean, he went from sugar to shit. Let's just be honest. Ain't no ain't no sweetness in his Kool Aid at all, man. That shit is watered down, man. It it, it, it could be sweet and it still tastes like it had too much ice in it. And that shit then got watered down, man. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 you know, man, I, I, I just, I'm not giving up on Deshaun Watson. I'm not man. giving I up on him either because Deshaun I, I think, I think, I think he needs a fresh start. I think he needs, needs another team. I think Cleveland is completely toxic at this point. Cleveland is a toxic place for this guy. I think, I think he needs a fresh I agree. start. I think he needs to go to a new spot. I don't, yeah. I don't think it's the right spot for him anymore. I, agree. I think because the fans are not with him anymore to support him. And it's easy to say, well, who gives a fuck about the fan? But if you don't have no fan support, you almost feel like you're going to some way, a place you're not wanting. And it's almost hard to play for anybody like that. It's almost like you got to play to please them. More so, you got to throw a touchdown like, hey, y'all like me now? Y'all still don't like me? And I got to keep doing extra shit just to get y'all to prove. Man, fuck that, bro. Y'all should be with me through thick and thin. You know what I mean? Through the, through the rape well, rape massage, whatever the fuck that shit going on, through my Achilles, through me playing bad, through me walking off the field when there's 12 people in the field, through all that shit. And it just seems like people are born and when he's running out for the tunnel and then he gets hurt that game. It's just like, I feel bad for the guy, bro. Man, Cleveland, like, man. That's has- why we ain't got shit. That's why we don't have shit. We don't. It's like we don't deserve it, man. I mean, especially the way Ohio went down. They stole the land from the Indians. You know what I'm saying? And when they stole the land from the Indians, the Indian chief cursed the land. He said, your teams, right. your sports teams will never, ever win championships. And it took a boy that had some Indian in him to fucking bring the championship there, which was LeBron James. He had, I mean, mm-hmm. so I guess that was a fair shake from the Indians going, well, uh, <laughs> Chief, Chief Lohau, we have Big Ron <laughs> one championship. No, nah, for sure. You know what I'm saying? But. During this game, though, man, it was one pivotal part of this game, man, that was scary and turned into an immaculate play. And that's literally when fucking the Jameis Winston threw that goddamn pass across the middle and Hamilton almost picked that bitch off. And I'm like, it's in his hand, and he completely had But he's a defensive it. back. God. He's a defensive back. So don't, 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 don't do he's that. He's all pro, man. That's oh, a guy, that, guy, no, that guy's all pro. No, no, no. That guy's all pro. No. That guy's all pro. Oh, what about the wide receiver? Wide open over the middle of the field. Come on, you let the you you you've been playing football all your life. You know your hands go in front of your helmet. You don't sit there and wait for the ball to come because your helmet is bigger. Than, it's going to hit you in the face. So how you so, let that happen? That was worse I, than the, in the missed interception. Because my point is that I was make, the point I'm making to this: uh, how big, how big James Winston, man. Cause how big his brain is and his mentality is to stay focused on the task at hand. He almost threw that interception, man, and that could have cost the game. Completely done. He dropped that play and didn't let that play bite him in the ass, man. The next play he throws a deep ball to Tillman wide open. Well, the big thing about like, that that's, that's resilience, man. And, that, and that's just him keeping his mind on the bigger picture and putting that play behind him. It's called the next play mentality, man. And I think that, that was a big play for me that stood up. I was like, damn, that was the next play. Because that easy to have me shook. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, man. I was about to say, here we go. I was about to say that shit. Here we go again. 
Here we go again. <laughs> Jameis, here you go ahead. The, 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 Cleveland, the Cleveland saying, man, we can, like I said before, we could be winning 45. We could be winning 45 to 8 with three minutes left in the game and lose the motherfucker. <laughs> well, saying, man, by you saying that, man, makes me makes me transition into the Jaguars and, and, and Green Bay game. I mean, Jaguars had an opportunity to, 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 to win it. But, man, hey, but those guys, man, I don't know. They just seem off as an offense right now. It seems like the, the, the offense is not clicking for Trevor Lawrence and the Jaguars right well, now. And I'm wearing this Duval. I'm wearing this Duval shit right now. But I'm really embarrassed to wear this shit. I'm really embarrassed to rep this shit right now. Do y'all see this shit? That motherfucker. I'm laid back. I'm sitting back. I'm waiting for it. I'm sitting back like I'm driving a Cadillac. This motherfucker team is the disgrace. You motherfuckers. I, I'm so sick of the Jaguars, man. Living here in Jacksonville and looking at this shit on TV, I wish I would catch one of these motherfuckers out of the bar. Take your ass in there to go watch some film, nigga. Take your ass in there to watch some deserve, goddamn film, this nigga. You don't deserve a drink. You don't deserve you don't a drink. You don't deserve a drink, nigga. You don't deserve no cup of water, you know, nigga. Take what, what, your what, ass what back you, in the film. What you, what you drinking? Hennessy on the rocks? <laughs> nigga, you should be drinking next play. Get your ass Next back. play. <laughs> Take your ass home. You don't, you don't even deserve no water, nigga. You're stinking raggedy ass. Take your well, ass home. Well, see, here's the thing about that is that they're still pro athletes, for one. Right. They're young. They're young. You know what I'm saying? You was young, too. You know what I'm saying? But the thing about it was you're young and they young. Your young was hungry. You know what I'm saying? You was hungry for it. You know what I'm saying? You was excited about it when you got it. You know what I'm saying? These cats, so. these cats you know, they, they come from schools where they had shit before they got there. That's why you look right. at some of these ball players who was biting them in the ass when they stay hurt, they stay hurt, they stay hurt, because they, they were shooting that shit when they was in high school. And now the body can't, the body done turned, and the muscles done got strong, and the body can't. I, I mean, McCaffrey, he 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 a prime example. He can't he can't stay healthy. Little McCaffrey cannot stay healthy, man. Sproles was smaller than him. That little fucker stayed healthy. He played for three different teams. Right. You know what I'm saying? Darren Sproles, I'm and, and, and he and he was returning punts and catching the ball and running around. Mm -hmm. And this boy here, man. So he can't stay so so the 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 love and the passion of the game is what changes the game. Like I said before, you was there, you felt that. You had that love, you had that passion, you had that drive and shit, man. You slept right. with your stealing shit on him. I don't know how the fuck you did that <laughs> shit. Motherfuckers in the bed. <laughs> Niggas walking around three hey. days like a mummy. He didn't even have his equipment on. He was still walking around. <laughs> Joe was hey, I'm telling you. Like a I'm, fucking, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I put my fucking stunner shades on. But man, all I'm saying is, said, I slept with my stealing shit on last night, man. <laughs> man, Tra hey, Trevor Lawrence, man, he looks uncomfortable, bro. He looks uncomfortable, bro. It's it just like he he seems lost in the offense, man. It, it seems like he has to be down for him to figure it out. You know, he can't be a front runner. You know, he works. It seems with like they, yeah. But I'm just looking over the past years. I haven't worked with him in a while. So right now, people get better and people get shittier. And it seems like the Jaguars are going down here when they, they not when they say going down, they're going up and down. I mean, they was, they was bad when I was there. They started to go up, started to go up, and went back down. It seems like, why, why is that? And it's just like, as I look at the culture, man, I mean, I'm just so disappointed in the secondary for the Jaguars, man, missing open tackles. I mean, Darnell Savage missed a wide open one. Um, I mean, That's the Cisco hardest one to make, though, Darwin. You know that. The hardest tackle on the field. You're a pro football athlete, bro. I have no, I have no remorse or no hardest, type of sorrow. The hardest tackle on the field is the one that's wide open in, in open field. The open field tackle is the but, hardest tackle. But bro, the tackle that you missed is a tackle when a guy back was turned to you, and he turns around and make you miss. Yeah. I mean, come on, bro. He got come on, you man. watch him. <laughs> <laughs> you watch him the whole play. See, 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 you, His back is to you. He turns around. Boom. See, how, how does that happen? These forwards. I mean, see, when you play basketball, you play power forward, forward. You play football. You had the you had the muscle man position. When you limber like that, man, you know what I'm saying. I used to play when I played flag football, man. We had this white boy on the team. His name was Splitty. This motherfucker had a move, man. I, 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 it's the same one that the guys got in pros. You know that's the one when they catch that bitch like you just telling me now? And you get ready to tackle him and he just spin away? My mm -hmm. God, man. That kid had that move, that natural move. The same thing like when Elway used to roll this way, then all of a sudden he would peel his ass back the other way. A lot of quarterbacks don't have that in the game no more. And, and, and speaking of that, do you think John Elway... With his scrambling ability, and as good as he was, and the way he played the game of football, do you think he would be just as effective as he was when he played? I don't know. The reason why I say I don't know is because the simple fact is he was fast, but he won Lamar Jackson fast. But, I mean, my thing is he probably would have, but you got to think about the D-lines, man. They're so athletic now, man. These guys can move just as well. There's only really one quarterback out here that's making people look silly, and that's really 
maybe Patrick Mahomes, but really just Lamar Jackson. Lamar Jackson is the only one that's really making people look silly because his speed is exceptional. Everybody else's speed can be caught. Patrick Mahomes can be caught. Uh, who else? Jameis Winston can be caught. Who else can run out this bitch? Uh, I mean, Tyrod Taylor can be caught. I mean, all these motherfuckers that can scramble and run can be caught besides Lamar. We, Lamar's the only one. But it ain't, it's, it's not so much the, back, the fact of the matter of being caught because Lamar can run like a motherfucker, but he ain't as accurate as his feet are. So with Elway, right. what I'm talking about is as a quarterback, you have to make your lane. You know what I'm saying? Right. So that that's to me, I watched Elway when he played. He threw across the grain a whole lot. His arm was strong yeah. enough. He wasn't so much of a like Fran Tarkenton. Fran Tarkenton wasn't a fast ass quarterback, but he was a scrambler. That motherfucker mm-hmm. can scramble. He could run. S- same thing with Steve Young. You could you you could almost c- compare Steve Young to Lamar Jackson. Almost. Yeah, almost for sure. Definitely. But guess what the Definitely. difference is? Steve Young was accurate. Definitely, way more accurate. Definitely, way more accurate, man. And Lamar, I, I can't, I can't argue that. Lamar is just a Lamar. Is, that, that's what I talk about about quarterbacks when I say Deshaun Watson. And when you are a quarterback, you get up to that line of scrimmage. That's what Lamar Jackson does. Lamar Jackson get up to that line of scrimmage. If the shit ain't there, he take he's changing it. He take control. He take control. Of he the situation, man. He and everybody can everybody can vouch for him and say, "Yeah, man, we gonna run that play." You already said now, then you kick stand right. Let's go. Yeah. You, 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 you. Hell yeah. Everybody on it. Oh, hell yeah. This is my play. This is my play. I'm about to smoke this motherfucker. Like you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, I've been waiting to pull. I've been waiting to pull all fucking day. I'm tired of stepping back with the yeah. block. I'm ready to go get me. I'm telling you. So. For sure. Those are the things gotta that have, make gotta, the Gotta have that hunger. Those are the things that make the quarterback sure. and the quarterback's offensive line, defensive line, and team stand behind him. Just like the kicking game, right. man. Now y'all done lost Tucker. Ain't no confidence in him no more. He, Tucker done lost his confidence. Like, and he, he's never missed that many field goals. You know, he's supposed to make all yeah, the 50s, but. Hey, it, it happens, man. People getting, he getting old, man. He getting old. But, man, as we look at some of the, some of the, some of the uh, games, man, as we look at it, reflect, man, the Browns, man, Browns come with a big upset today, man. No one saw that coming. The Jaguars lose a good one, man. They should have won, man. Definitely was a, they was an underdog. They was looked at to lose and they lost, but they definitely could have definitely won that game. Um, I got to say the Packers played pretty well today, man. Uh, Malik Willis stepping in for a hurting ankle of for Jordan Love, man, coming in. Wow, yeah, that's right, because he got hurt in the third quarter. Love got hurt in the yep. third quarter. He, yep, he closed, closed, closed the deal out, man. Closed, his, closed it out with his legs and able to throw the ball as well. But as we transition, man, to basketball, man, big headlines right now. Bronny James, King James, man, the the, the, the kid from Akron, son. Bronny you talking James, about, man. You talking about Whopper and Whopper Jr.? Man, Whopper and Whopper Jr. Whopper Jr. Man. got no keys. Wh- so Whopper Jr. don't have Whop- no keys. So he can't steal Wh- the Whopper show. Jr. Yeah, with the big Whoppers. So Bronny is a Whopper Jr. You know what I'm saying? Whopper Jr. Yeah, so, it's headed to the G yeah, League. so he got to go down. You know, he got to be on the specialty board. You know what I'm saying? Long- what, 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 what is your thoughts about that, Bronny James, taking the opportunity to move down, man? And uh, First of all, do you think LeBron Bronny should even came out this year? This year? Yeah, um, this position? Yes, I do. Only reason why I felt that he should have come out this year is uh, a few good reasons. Uh, his father right. wanted to play with him, for one. Uh, he right. had a heart condition, for two, which I pray that never comes back. But if it does, and it, then we have the same result that we had before, LeBron and history would be made with him actually checking in the game with his son. Now, the only thing needs to be done is him and his son scoring in the same game, like how it was when um, Ken Griffey Jr. played with his dad. You know, Ken right. Griffey Jr. was in center field. His dad was in right field. Ken Griff Sr. hits the home run. Griff comes up the next bat. He hits the home run. So that made a mad history. But for Bronny to come up, to be there with his dad, for his dad to, to, to um, take him out there in the man's world. It's like going hunting. It's like going right. hunting with your, with your father and your uncle. Okay, normally you and your right. boys and shit, y'all killing rabbits and squirrels and, and frogs and shit. But now right. we're going to get deer, okay? We're going to get some mm-hmm. shit that can run, bro. We got we got to be accurate. We got to be on our shit, and we got to be a hundred percent while we out there. So that's what happens when he brought him to the to the to the league. So now that he knows that he cannot deer hunt with the other hunters, it's time for me to go back down here and sharpen my skills because you cannot get sure. better by sitting on the bench. Sitting that boy on the bench right now, being on the team with his daddy, is not going to get him better. Practicing every day is not going to get him better. 
You know how it is. He need live, That's- he need live reps, man. He need live reps, man. Under the under fire, man. And that, and that, and that, and that G League is something like the UFL or XFL, whatever you want to say. It, it's a great it's a great mechanism to develop players that do have a lot of potential. That's trying to figure a way to bring it out of. Mm-hmm. And Le- and Bronny is a guy that has a lot of upside, man. He can jump, he can dribble. He definitely is a defensive peasant. Like he's all over the place on defense. But he has to find his confidence and understand how to use his body and be able to be effective when he can use it when he when it's time because he can jump out the roof. He can she can shoot. But it's just his confidence is not dead. What, 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 how do you build that confidence? Going to go play against other guys, getting live bullets, not sitting on the bench watching daddy play, or not being in practice, getting two or three reps, actually getting live reps. And that's the good thing about the G League is giving you guys that's let, that's get has it. But how to figure out, got to figure out a way to get it out of them in that league right there. G League is perfect for Bronny, man. I think he's going to be he gonna be awesome in that league, man. He's going to do his stuff, man. He's going to do his big one over there, man. He's going to be agree. an effective player. And, it, and also, the good thing about it, too, is they're giving him the ability to play still with the Lakers, but with the G League team. So he's going to be bouncing back forth through the year. So that gives him the opportunity. Go have a good good five or six games in a row. Come over there and play a few minutes and get a couple buckets this time because you ain't really getting no buckets last time. I don't you, think he scored. You know they're gearing him up for Christmas Day. They're gearing that shit. Why, why, Cause they like, I think what's the Christmas Day? The Lakers play on Christmas Day. Okay. He'll be back. Yeah. He'll be back. Now, that's when the history is going to be made. Because him and LeBron will score, I guarantee you, in the same game by then. Okay, no problem. Somebody going to think, I, I, I'm calling it. It's going to be an oop. It's going to be an oop. He's throwing it up to dad or man, dad throwing man, it up to him. That, that, that'll be, the, the thing about that is, is that he, he the, the more reps that he get, because that's what the minor league baseball is. The minor league baseball is yep. a system of professional athletes that are being groomed to become pro athletes in the next level. Because they are right. professional athletes already because they're paid. So yeah. so with that being said, he's going to play in the G League with ball players that are going to the NBA and coming back down. They're doing the same thing he's doing. But right. the basketball right. court don't change. Okay, the hoop mm-hmm. is on that end. The hoop is on that end. So seeing the floor and knowing where you need to be on the floor, getting your confidence like you said, because that's right. one of the main things that can destroy a professional athlete is losing 100%. confidence. It's losing confidence, man. man. And when you lose your as confidence. A player, man. And as a player, man, that, that's real, bro. Because, like, in Tennessee, that's how I felt when I left the Steelers and Jaguar. I felt like I lost my confidence, man, when I got to Jack, when I got to uh, Nashville, man. I got to Tennessee. Because was, it wasn't the same playing style I was used to. It, it, it was a lot of growing pains I had to go through, what, which I felt in my mind was unnecessary. But it was very necessary to better fit they, they scheme to play. But it was a lot of change in it, trying to figure it out. And I felt like. I wasn't the same player. And it wasn't because of me and my ability. I felt like I, I just couldn't get it. Couldn't get the style of it because it was so much different from what we was doing in, in Pittsburgh and, and Jacksonville was shit was more downhill. Now in Tennessee, things were more left and right and all these extra calls. It was just like, bro, you know what I'm saying? My confidence is going down because now I'm, I'm guessing. I'm trying to figure out, am I in the right position? Am I supposed to be here? I, I know what I'm doing, but am I am I doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing, though? I know I'm supposed to be over here on the left side, but am I supposed to be left side and go right? I mean, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? And you lose confidence, and then at that point, you just start just taking whatever. You know what I mean? And then when your time is up, it's like, fuck it. I mean, fuck it. I mean, and that's kind of how I felt. Like, fuck it. It is what it is. Fuck it. And if I get another opportunity somewhere else, I make the best of it. But that opportunity just wasn't for me. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and I speak for that for Bronny is that this is just a learning lesson for him. You had the opportunity to still be in the NBA. You're going out of the G League to go practice and practice real live bullets. It's on TV. People are going to watch you. And you get to go be yourself and go play and get your confidence to go play with the big boys again. It's not a bad thing. It's like a red shirt year or it's a – I don't know what the fuck type of year you want to call it. It's the- but it's an opportunity. For him to, to 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 get better. Well, and also it's a um, it, it's it's not like you got drafted and you're put on a D team, a G team rather. He he is down there to make himself better. He knows that that's right. why he's there. He's not there because he was demoted. He's not there because he's unwanted. He's right. there to sharpen his sword. Okay. Right. So in order for you to sharpen that sword, man, if you're gonna slay a dragon, man, you gotta drag it. You, you, you gotta swing that sword. You gotta you gotta know where, when, how, or you know, and, 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 and know when to put it away, know when to pull it back. And that's the same thing with your jump shot, and that's the same thing with knowing the floor and then looking right. comfortable. He even looked uncomfortable. Right. As soon as you pass the ball, he pass it back like the shit on fire. Like I don't want it to. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, you shoot it. You yeah. shoot it. You know what I mean? LeBron and, um, told him. When LeBron passing the ball, if you, you can hear him, he goes, pull it. You can't say, yeah. You know, and he was, and it was almost on, but follow it. 
You know what I'm saying? He, yep. he, he doesn't. He, he just he just shows me that. You know, What's he, he show up to the bakery every day and just put frosting on the donuts and say, "Here they are." Here they are. Yeah. No work in. Right, so, what you think of Ant Man's thoughts on Bronny, man? No need to take a shot. It was on. That was funny, man. That, it, it's, it, here's the thing. What a lot of you guys don't realize is that, and I had to realize it because Spencer Haywood, which is an NBA Hall of Famer, legend in basketball, um, if it wasn't for him, then none of the guys would be even in the league right now because he broke the right. barrier. And um, Spencer told me, man, guys fuck with each other, man. Basketball players is goofy, man. You ever see them motherfuckers dance? They goofy as hell, man. So I'm saying yeah. all tall people, a lot of tall people goofy. They goofy as shit. So he was fucking with him when he said, hey, man, guess what, man? You don't need me, which was fucking hilarious to me. I, I was cracking up. And I'm sure LeBron laughed. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure LeBron laughed. So, you know, they, they, you know how they blow shit out of proportion and the media want to try, try to turn shit the other way so they right. can have something else to talk about when they have their story, man. But it was to me, it was all poking fun. That's the way I look at it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a competitive game, man. Guys being guys, man. We fuck around, poke at each other, man. Nothing, nothing is serious, man. Like just like when Anthony Davis uh, scored on Ant Man when they played against them guys, man. And uh, Ant Man, when um, I think like Anthony Davis, like yeah, I think he ducked the ball or some shit yeah. and one. And Ant Man, Ant Man said, I slapped the shit out. Yeah, there. yeah. And my think it's all funny. They just played on the USA game, man. I thought it was serious. No, no, man. Anthony Davis. I thought it was serious because the way he looked at the game, Ant Man, look, he was dead ass <laughs> serious. Like he was pissed off. But everybody know Ant Man as a as a competitor, man. Yeah. He want to win more than anybody out there, and it was all love to find on the back end. They dabbing each other. It was all fun and love. I'm like, God damn, that shit looked real. They need to go get acting class. That shit looked real, bro. You, you know what's so looked crazy? Real. You know what's so crazy about Ant Man, man, is that uh, the one ball player that came out of the college that he broke the records of, and that's one of my favorite athletes, one of my favorite ball players, man, Dominique Wilkins. You know, Dominique mm -hmm. was on man, so they both came out of Georgia. You know what I'm saying? And it's mm -hmm. like they almost got similar games. You know what I'm saying? Right. Dominic's jumper. A lot of people don't know, man. Neek had a shot, man. Neek didn't shoot a lot of threes, but Neek had a shot. But it wasn't like, I mean, it wasn't like Ant. You know, Ant, Ant is, he's a younger kid out of Georgia. You know, I think he's out of Atlanta. Mm -hmm. And uh, playing AAU ball, they put him in a, they sheltered him to keep him out of the streets, to keep him away from the drug dealers and the bad boys and all that shit. So it was three of them. I can't think of who it is. It was Anthony, Ant Man. And there's two more ball players. I don't know if it's Gilchrist. There's two more ball players that's in the league right now. They all came out of Georgia. They came out of the Atlanta, Georgia area. They all came out of that same area playing basketball, and they all homed them and kept them together. But I mean, poking fun, man. I think I think it's a good nah. thing for the league that LeBron is that Bronny's there because Bronny has determination now. You know what I'm saying? To get to the league. What is it gonna take to get yeah. to the league? Is it gonna take right. three 30 point games? Is it gonna take a 25 point game? You know, you know what I think it's gonna take? The one thing that you said, it's going to take one thing to get him back in the league. Confidence. Confidence. The confidence. Confidence, 100 percent Confidence take you a long way, man. And yeah. uh, as long as you keep stay confident, man, and believe in yourself, believe your game work. And uh, I don't know who told him that shit. Um, oh, uh, Draymond Green had one thing to say about Bronny. And he I don't know if you saw it, but did you see it? No, about, about yeah. the, uh, um, he told Bronny to – let me pull that shit up right here, my damn self. He told Bronny – to, I'm, I'm about to pull this shit up. I saved that motherfucker. <laughs> it, 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 it was in. okay. Draymond Green tells Bronny. He tells Bronny. My only thing with Bronny is that that this is brother, brother. If you're going to fail, fail on your own terms. You know how to play basketball because some of the time I've been watching you play, you're acting acting like you don't know what to do. Don't know how to play basketball. If you're going to fail, fail because you fail playing like you know how to play. Don't fail because you ain't doing what you know how to do, which is play basketball. And basically he's saying, don't 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 be a guy just out there just failing and, and, and you failing on someone else's terms. And that's not meaning that's not meaning not be coachable. That's not meaning not do your thing. But still play within who you are. Aggressive, hard, take it to the rim. Go draw that foul, even though you might, you might, it might not be the best play, but go play aggressive. Be you. Cause at the end of the day, LeBron gonna take some stupid ass shots sometimes, and he don't give a fuck if he miss him. I mean, he because he's playing like you. Go ahead. He, you know, you know, I I agree to what you're saying. And what Draymond Green said, and J Draymond Green is a good a, a great mentalist. Okay. Okay. He's a great mentalist, man. He gets in your head. Uh, he 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 brings out. He, he's the kind of player that gets in your head that brings out the best out of you. Right. You know what I'm saying? And that's what he did to Bronny's father. You know what I'm saying? Right. Kicked him in the nuts. 
you know, punched on him, pushed him down. You know what I'm saying? Made LeBron just cry like a bitch the first time we played against Golden State. <laughs> I mean, that motherfucker. Everybody did. He's Last Stevens, like he was everybody. Eating shit and and onion sandwiches. This motherfucker did. Ooh. Every time, every time. Mm-hmm. Play ball, motherfucker. Play ball. That's what Draymond Green was saying. Get up, bitch. Play ball. What did that do? But that fired him up. But, but. Yeah, fired him up. Yeah, you know, and, and, and I agree with Draymond when it comes I to totally Bronny, though, because like you said, because all he's saying in a nutshell is that he's playing not confident. That's it. They all based on what we're saying. All that shit is what he just said in a nutshell. He just broke it down into a more a more intense version so you can understand word for word what he mean. But he's basically saying he's not playing with confidence. Be you, Bronny. Be the Bronny that we saw in high school and. and no, can't say college because he, he he wasn't that. But in high school, at least, it, it be the guy that you saw in high school because the four points in college wasn't it. But anyway, but he still had the potential there the, to be something special. Was he one of the lowest scoring draft picks that ever came in the NBA? He might have been the lowest draft pick, you know, no, no, with four points. No, I think NBA Kyrie so. Kyrie might have been like seven or nine. It wasn't four points. I don't know. I don't even know if it was that many. Kyrie got hurt. Remember. Kyrie played for Duke. Yeah, I remember Kyrie played for yeah, Duke. But... And Kyrie got hurt. And when Kyrie got okay, hurt. I, I... Uh, See, I don't. And, and B. And B. I wonder how many points did Embiid have. And B got hurt. All, all those motherfuckers had more points than him. Yeah, all those right. motherfuckers had more points than him. Right. All of them did. Right. So, and, and they all had good years of college. They played, I mean, they had some good years of college. You know what I'm saying? But LeBron was Kyrie doing didn't do that shit, though. When LeBron first came to the league, he was passing up all the open shots. LeBron get the ball, da, 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 boom, da, 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 da. you know. Uh, he, he, LeBron he first, was different when he came in. When he first came to Cleveland. When he first came in, LeBron was a little different, man. He was a different phenom, man. Yeah. I mean, he, he he wasn't playing like Bronny. Yeah. His body tight wasn't like Bronny's and nothing. Oh, no, no. He was totally different. So every LeBron. everything he did was different. So, But, man, we're going to move on, man, to, to a funny-ass topic as we're talking about sports, man, and we're talking about doing some great things in the community. Let's talk about a little bit about the transgender world, man. I mean, oh, I love my transgender shit. LGBT community. What, what like, is, is, it, is it really a thing, like a, 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 a transgender Olympics? Yeah, man, really trans- no, it's not even a transgender Olympics. They're in our Olympics. That's my thing. They're allowing transgenders to perform in our Olympics. You know what I'm saying? Which, mm-hmm. I, I mean, I, it ain't cool. I don't care how the fuck you look at it, it's a man. It ain't cool, man. You know what I'm saying? And they had them boxing. Box, man, I'm about to get in shape. I'm about to get this shit in shape, man. I'm gonna go. I'm, 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 I'm gonna get in. The, I'm gonna get in that women league. I'm gonna get in a woman. We gonna be in a woman division. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be a female. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the female because I'm gonna, I'm gonna tuck my dick. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tuck it in. I'm gonna do a dick tuck. You know what I'm saying? And through the whole fight, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it in. I'm, I'm gonna keep it tucked in while I'm hitting on this motherfucker. Bam! As soon as I knock his oh. ass down and the referee start counting. I'm a pow! Look, motherfucker! Surprise! 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 And I know the first thing he gonna say, hey. like, referee, he cheated. He has a dick. You do too, fucker. So that's why I knocked your ass out. <laughs> That'll stop their ass from doing that shit. That'll stop them from coming in. Hey. And like that. Oh yeah, come in there, let a, let a man do it. Let a real man come in and do a dick tuck, bro. Tuck it in, man. Just squeeze it. And keep your knees together. Oh, my God. And when you work out for it, like, put some rubber bands to keep your knees bent together so you'd be able to... <laughs> be, be able to stay, you'd be able to keep it tucked as long as you need to keep it tucked. Hey, bro. Hey, bro, that's crazy as hell. It's hey, funny, bro, man. It's a joke, man. See, life is funny to me, man. I find a joke out of fucking everything, man. Same thing with the KKK. I fuck with them, too, man, because I used to... Dude, before we got legal, before we got legal, man, you know you smoke weed and you get paranoid. I was down in Bowling Green, Kentucky one night, man. I got so fucking paranoid, man, I went to a Klan rally. I went right to the motherfucker. I saw all the motherfuckers standing there with them sheets on and them hoods. The sheets on the hill? And them hoods look like joints. I thought heads. it was joints. I called my boy. I said, dude, they got joints on horses. Come on down, dog. We got a fire and everything. <laughs> we going to smoke. We got six-foot joints. Let's light these motherfuckers up, man. So, oh, they gonna light your ass, all right. No, that's what they said to me when they saw me. Hey, let's burn one. I'm like, hold on, wait a minute. Let's bro. burn one. <laughs> your burning and my burning is a little different. I think I better hot tail your ass out of here. Yeah. So, hey, man. It's funny, man. Life is funny, man. Life is li- life is funny. You take this motherfucker too serious, it will pass your ass by. You really would, man. And you'll miss all of the fun out of it, man. So it makes me think about, man, what you're saying, man, about the Transcend Olympics, man. 
we I mean, why was we so why was we all so mad at Juana Man back in the day? When Juana Man had to do what he had to do to be a great player. <laughs> but, I mean, he was dunking on them all. He was dunking on them goddamn women out there, bro. Like, I mean, his <laughs> I mean, goddamn, why we so bad at Juana Man for cheating? Uh-huh. When it's true. That, 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 that was a funny that, that was a funny movie. <laughs> That was a goddamn classic, bro. That was a goddamn classic, man. That was. Um, he's a he's a great comedian, man. Nunez is a great comic, and uh, I'm that you, was bro. Uh, that, that was all in fun. You know that was that was that that was a, a playing a character that 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 wanted to be. That was a character play, you know. And then they took the right. shit serious. So in my eyes, they we should have a transgender Olympics. We should have transgender sports. I would watch the shit. I really would, man. I would I'd watch too. one of them motherfuckers. I mean, you know? I mean, I'd be watching a big motherfucker with Adam's apple with, uh, with, some, see, with a nice boob job. It's it's, it's 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 so much of them, you know, with the Adam's apples and bigs and all. I mean, I, I just want to see them motherfuckers in shoes, you know, size, you know, size seventeen, <laughs> size. <laughs> I can't even get the shit out, man. I'm laughing. So hard. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. I'm disturbed, man. I'm disturbed. I had some fucked up shit happen to me, man. I had some fucked up shit as we narrow this shit down, man. I had some fucked up shit. You ever had a, You ever had somebody that you knew you played sports with or anything sports or a good dude you thought was really a straight nigga and come out to be a fucking faggot? Yeah, man. I got. It. I, I mean, oh, oh, I say faggot. I come out to be a homosexual, yeah, man. man. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. When the person wasn't homosexual, didn't play those type of games, love women, and come out to be yeah. years later it was a homosexual. Yeah, man. I, I, got, I mean, I got a friend like that, and I can't. I, I would never put his business out in the street like that because he's a good friend of mine. You know, I take a bullet for this motherfucker, man. You know what I'm saying? He's a good friend of mine. You know, I, that's all I would take. You know, you're, you're, <laughs> I'm like, please don't take a please don't take a penis for the man, yeah. bro. He's doing enough of that, yeah, bro. We, please, you don't need we that. Went, help, we, bro. Went to, we went. To, we grew up together. You know, people that's gonna see this, they'll, they'll probably know who I'm talking about. And he, and if he sees this, he knows I'm talking about him. But he's a good friend of mine. He's a dear friend of mine, man. You know what I'm saying? And you know, we was cool. We've been cool as friends. And you know, he liked pussy. Had a son. Got a kid and all that right. shit. And now, come to find out, you know, he liked. The P Diddy oil, you know what I'm saying? So he like <laughs> he like his ass lube. So that, you know, and it's the difference between the gays because I have gay friends, and some of right. them all are main ass pushers. You know what I'm saying? Because they, you know, right. they do other shit to please themselves because they they're 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 gay. You know what I'm saying? But they respectful for what they are because, like when you saying fag. Fags is the ones that get pumped in ass. Yeah, okay. yeah, I didn't mean to say that word, man. It, it was just something that we used to growing uh, up to say. Because that's not the right the terminology. Same. Sorry, Sissy. Because I love the LG. I love the LGBT community, man. I, I think they're too, a special man. breed. I, I, I'm proud of the guys for coming out and you know what I'm saying accepting who they are and, and be who you are exactly. Be who you because are. I, because I because this be don't be high, yeah. bro. Because I would hate to get you to the house, bro. And and we about to get down a bit. I had to get you to the house, bro, and, and, and get you hot and ready, bro. And you lay on that bed, and, and, and a dragon pop out, bro. Oh my god, Man, brother! Shit. I mean, that, that ain't the, I mean, that. brother, dude, do you know that they so fucking slick that the Miss Nevada was a transvestite? I mean, transgender. Did you know that? Uh-uh. Google Miss Google Miss Nevada. It was a tranny that won, man. That pretty. It was it, because the way I looked at that was. They put the art into themselves oh, to make themselves look. You good. said that that pretty. That, so she looked pretty good. That yeah, motherfucker, you couldn't good? tell it was a woman. Shit, they, he had to tell on himself. <laughs> you know that'd be really fucked up, man. You think you got a chick with you in the car, right? And y'all get ready to fucking be like, well, you know, let me tell you something. It's like, oh, nigga, your voice done changed. Oh, oh, yeah. brother, hold yeah. up, brother. Man, <laughs> listen, check this shit out. I was driving Lyft. I was I was driving Uber, man. Last year, I'm driving Uber, man. And I get, I, I go to pick up this dude from the, from the uh, drags from the, from a gay club, because we got a couple of gay clubs here, and I know where they are, because I'm driving shit. So I pick, right. I pick his ass up, man. His, his name was Tina. When I pick him up, this motherfucker come out looking like Fred Flintstone, wig and shit all fucked up, short, fat, dress on, yeah. all this other shit. I knew he was a tranny, man. Hello, he gets in the car with a little soft voice and shit. So I'm driving. It's a 28 minute ride to take this motherfucker home. He falls asleep. You know, wig and mm. shit go crooked. I see all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Motherfucker had a soft voice and shit when he fell before he fell asleep. We got here. I was like, <laughs> I was like, yo, Tina, we home? Oh, we're here. I'm like, nigga, what happened? <laughs> 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 Motherfucker went to sleep and lost. Hey, hey, 
Fuck, you lose your voice in a dream? What the fuck happened? Hey, bro. Hey, bro. That should have made me hot about that guy. Damn, hey, don't talk to me like that, man. You tell me he was a woman, Tina. Now you're shit looking like Tino. Yeah. You looking like Tino over this bitch now. <laughs> Hell wrong with you, Tino. You trick the shit out, bitch. Hit me with a fast one like that. Get in my car to your team. It's Tino. Get your ass yeah. out here, Tino. If I put my foot in your ass, nigga. Look, man. What I'm going to start doing to the motherfuckers when I get them trannies in my car, man. What I'm going to start doing, I think they transvest that. You know the things that you, that you squeeze and hand squeezes? I want them to do yeah. 15 of them in a row without breaking your nails. So that let me know, motherfucker. You, you do. <laughs> yeah. No, for sure. Ain't no bitch in your for game. Sure. Ain't, ain't a woman going to do that shit without breaking. Man, especially these women. Hey. I got these long. Man, during these little young girls, they shit. fucked up, man. They shit, bro. That long, man. Long in the motherfucker, shit crazy. man. And then you want to. Shit so long. I, I can touch you from over here, yeah. motherfucker. No, I can you touch wanna, you from over here, Then you want to you wanna Freddy Krueger my dick. No, that ain't happening, man. You ain't. I like my dick in chunks, not slices. Leave the motherfuckers. <laughs> I don't need you slicing my shit up. You know what I'm saying? I go take no. a piss. Water coming out the side of my dick like a flute because you done cut my shit up. <laughs> These goddamn Freddy Krueger nails. You can keep that shit. I'll tell you. How you wipe your crook you with them nails? You can't wipe your ass when your fingers is bent like this here. You, you ever seen a pickup change? Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, they, they, I mean, she would. I mean, they she wiping her ass and her clit at the same time because the nails touching the clit while the while the, while the, the fingers are touching that. It's a lot going on, bro. But back to the point, man. I'm really disturbed, stirred about the information I got over this weekend. Found out a, a good guy where I was, I was I played high school with, man. That taking it in the ass, and you know, hey. it, it, it's disturbing, man. It hurt, it hurt, it hurt my heart, man, because I, I wouldn't expect that out of guy. It's certain people on that team that I knew. Like, okay, if that come out, I'm like, I knew it. Yeah, but this yeah, guy right here, yeah, it was a yeah, question mark, yeah. like. You know it, but it's like, come on, bro, not that one. You know what I mean? And he started thinking about the guys that he hung around with. They say, not that one. But. It was like he was eating gumdrops and he dropped one on the floor. Oh man, I mean, not that uh, one. I mean, bro, if I can show you, this, show you, show you, show you this picture of it, man. Oh my god, it's a picture of the video. I mean, the motherfucker eyes behind his head like this, like. Like no, he, I don't like want to see those. Like, like, like he Houdini, bro. I was like, whoa. I was like, whoa. I that means no you Dwight really enjoying Howard that shit. shit. I don't want to see no Dwight <laughs> Howard shit. Dwight Howard, bro. Man, it, that's a, hey. he, he he influenced the world, bro. Oh, Dwight he Howard. changed the world. Yeah, he changed the world, bro. I mean, I never seen a big six eight and six nine nigga say, "You ain't going nowhere." You, you, eat you ain't, man. That motherfucker, dude. I mean, you, you see, I mean, if he get mad, all you can say is if that motherfucker put his hands on your shoulders, Dwight. 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 Right. You ain't got to do this, right? Man. Dwight. I'm going to fuck this up. All oh, while you trying to fuck me, I'm just going to keep saying, Dwight. Dwight. <laughs> Dwight. You're going to stop. <laughs> they, they said this nigga came in the room with the sausage in his hand. Yeah, suck my dick right now. I'm like, this nigga is crazy. Hey, bro, I mean, this world is unbelievable, bro. Like, I mean, I don't like to keep talking about the LGBT shit, but it's an interesting, it's their inter interesting unit or organization, bro, because they stand by each other. Like, we do black man, power. Man, dude, uh, they, they, do, they do power like yeah. this. I don't fuck with them, man. LGBT I power. I don't fuck with them. That's <laughs> still a man. And plus, I can't win a fight. If you you got to think about it. If you do get in a fight with a gay guy or a transvestite, how are you going to win? You, you ain't going to win. Because all he got to do is get one scratch in, motherfucker, and you, you've been scratched by a gay dude, and that's going to show up on your face for the rest of your life. Even if you punch <laughs> him or knock him out or you kick him in the ass and a bunch of glitter fall out of him, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, man. That's crazy. That's enough. LGBTQ, I swear, I promise oh, we you, man. Love me man. And Smiley, it's a we love y'all, man. Man, it's you all a joke, man. LGBT community, if you take this shit seriously, man, give me a break. Come on, man. It's a fucking joke. You got it's all a joke, man. Is, it's all fun again. I got gay comedian friends. I got gay comic friends. And they do straight jokes about being straight and how straight people are. And we laugh. We laugh right. our ass off. So why when we do one gay joke, y'all say we bashing y'all? No, man. Funny is fucking funny, man. You know what I'm saying? And y'all and, and gay people out there, man, LGBT community, you can always make straight straight jokes about us. Yeah, they do. I mean, we all are straight. Us. We straight. Yeah. So we don't get offended if you make straight nah, jokes man. about us. Thank LGBT, you. we can't y'all can't get mad if we make uh LGBT jokes about y'all. Y'all are, y'all are. We it's about time we all start accepting. Exactly. So, sure. I say, yeah, hey D great, yo, yo straight ass. Okay, cool, bro. <laughs> hey, yeah, smell his breath, straight ass. His breath smell like pussy. Don't talk to him, Twan. Mm -mm, he smell like fish when he talk. <laughs> 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 I 
I can hear, I can hear the gay no. dude. That's no. what I had, but I had to tell one that. I had to tell one that dude, I'm gonna be honest with you, man. I don't know what it was when I first cut my mustache off. Cause the only reason why I don't have a mustache is because this motherfucker be turning in gray and I ain't got time to be dying shit. So I keep the motherfucker off. And uh man, I had the gay dude, man, the motherfucker. I, they ganged up, they ganged up on me, man. I was walking around, this was about two years ago. And I and, and this to this day, I don't eat rainbow sherbet ice cream to this day. Cause I was in the grocery store. And I had some rainbow sherbet ice cream in my hand. And it was when the first gay symbols and all the rainbow shit came out. And the motherfucker thought I was on his team. You know what I'm saying? So him and his boys, they was, mm -hmm, they was following me around. Like, look at him, look at him. Hey, hey smile. Yeah, <laughs> you made me smile today. <laughs> no, you know the fucked up part about it was, man, I got out I got out the car. This is one reason why I really think they was following me. is because I had on some shorts. And my wallet was like kind of turned sideways. So my short leg was up. So it was it was toward the middle of my thigh, like I had on tennis shorts. You know what I'm saying? And that's how they wear their shorts. So they they, they motherfuckers thought like, mm, he on he on our team. They, th they, th they got one. And this motherfucker gonna sit there and tell me I can change you. Motherfucker gonna tell me that I can change you. Look at you, you do. Uh uh, I know I I can change you. I told him I said, come here, bro. I said, come here, come here. Bring your face up here. Come here, come here. Come here, big bro. Come here, big bro. You smell that? That's pussy. Get your ass away from me, motherfucker. You ain't saying shit. <laughs> then you gonna change it to the goddamn hey, TV channel. We done. <laughs> hey, we done, LGBTQ. We done, man. I promise you we done. Hey, we gonna move on, man. It's Halloween. Halloween week coming up, man. Yes, sir. Um, I got one turning. I got before, one turning we, before, we, before we well, before we get a Halloween talk, man, let's talk about the real Halloween, man. We got about got about six minutes left. If we wants to breeze through this last couple conversations, man. A B giving a speech at Donald Trump's pet rally in Latrobe, Pennsylvania, man. If y'all don't know what Latrobe, Pennsylvania is, it's it's the it's the home of the Pittsburgh Steelers training camp, right there at, at, at one of the colleges down there, Latrobe it? College or whatever it's called. Yes, that's, that's where, where we do Rolling training Rock camp at. From. That's the only thing I knew about Latrobe. Rolling Rock. That's that's what we uh, that's what we hold our training camp okay. at. So it, it was it was Le, uh, Le, Le'Veon Bell and um. <laughs> Antonio Brown giving a speech at motherfucking Trump's prep rally. What you think of that, brother? Give me a quick one. Um, they're protecting their money. You know what I'm saying? And um, this whole election shit, man, to me, man, like I said before, y'all do what y'all want to do with it. We, it, it. They gave us two of the worst candidates that could be put out there. So we got to pick our poison of how you want it. You know what I'm saying? You want the napkin with the grease stain on it or you just want the regular fucking napkin? How do you want it? Okay. You know what I'm saying? But what you, what, you, what you think about Tony O'Brown giving a speech? Out of all people, they brought Tony O'Brown. Well, it's for attention. CTE. It's for attention, though. For you know what I'm saying? That's what mm -hmm. I said about the election. You know what I'm saying? The election is about I, color. It's fucked up, man. Yeah. This is the first election that we ever really had in this world that it's about color only. When Obama was running for president, it wasn't about, yeah, let's just vote for the black man. Let's just vote for the black man. We knew he was the better candidate. We knew this. Right. Right. I cannot, right. in my heart and in my mind, I cannot say that this woman is the true best candidate. She's better than Trump. Yes, she is. She's better than him. But what's going to happen afterwards? What's going right. to happen after? That, 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 that's big. Yeah. But I got to bring it back to Antonio Brown, man. Antonio Brown did a great job, man. His speech was pretty yeah, good, man. I didn't, man. See, the, I I didn't see the speech, and I'm was, glad that you... It was, a pretty, it, was a, it was a pretty good speech, man. It was pretty good. It was pretty... I mean, it was pretty straightforward, funny, comedy a little bit in there. He made he needed to get with you a little bit in, in Vegas a little bit. Maybe he got a, a a future career. Pretty funny, man. I but uh, I you thought it was I thought. <laughs> Give it up for Antonio Brown. This motherfucker come out swinging his dick. Put that shit on. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Put that shit on. Motherfucker <laughs> swinging his dick in his hand. I'm like, no, nigga. He might come out with you the know, dick he... up. <laughs> hey, what's up, I mean, you never know, bro. <laughs> you never know. I just had to throw that in there right quick, man. AB had a a, a a crazy moment in his life, man. And for him and Le'Veon Bill giving a speech at Trump's rally, man, in Latrobe, Pennsylvania, man, well, home of the Steelers training camp. We're going to move on to the hot, hot. You have one more spec that you want to yeah, say? you know, the thing about that is, this, on, on, a, on the up and up, uh, they're both educated ball players. They, they, that's, when I say educated, they do dumb things. They mm -hmm. do crazy things. And those are the two first craziest offensive ball players that I've ever seen. That they have maybe the PTSD, the, the situations. That, CT. Yeah, the CT. Those are the, those are the, really the only two ball players that played offense that I see that it kind of really got them that way. Tony Dorsett, he got his issues, and Tony got better. But but Le'Veon Bell, he held out. He talked about smoking weed when he played. Uh, Antonio Brown, he talked about things that he did with, with the Steelers when he played. So these guys are liberal uh, voice influencers. So what they say with their right. voice, people is going to listen to, and they're going to be influenced by. I mean, and to see a black person that's behind Trump, that's just like, um, 
that's just like going to an Ivy League school and you see that the, the president of that Ivy League school is a black person. It's like, whoa, sure. you know what I'm saying? We, we got one. We, we got one in. So I don't think that, that Antonio Brown's speech and what him and Le'Veon Bell did was, it was falsely intended. I think that it was all, all done from the bottom of their heart, and that's just the way they felt. And they're athletes mm -hmm. because they're using all of the athletes on TV now. Vote, vote, vote. We came up short this right. year. Vote, vote, vote. They got all the athletes on there. So why can't he, even though he might be an athlete that had issues when he played, why can't he come out and tell people to vote, vote, vote? What makes him different right. than the ones that are being paid on TV with the vote commercial? That's what I was sure. I agree. On a serious note. I agree. I appreciate you saying that because they definitely didn't know that. Yeah. As we move on to our last thing, man, it's, ha it's, ha it's Halloween week, man, coming up, man. Halloween is coming up this Thursday, man. But what's on the agenda for the kids, man? First of all, how you feel about Halloween? We got a quick three minutes left. I don't fuck with it, to be honest with you, man. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't do that. I'm, I'm, I'm that man. I'm a bitch, man. When it comes down to scary shit, my father used to take me to the haunted house and shit. I be, man, I be talking all that shit in the parking lot while we in line. As soon as that first nigga come out, ah, and my father was big like you, so this nigga would have to carry me, man. I'm, I, I'm all under his coat. You know what I'm saying? And my, my father was my father was like he's man, his back was wider than yours, but my dad was built like you. And I mean, dude, I'm talking about pussy, crybaby, bitch. Yeah, when it comes to skeletons and werewolves and shit like that. Now, if you are a witch dressed up in a nice outfit, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, I got a, I got a broom for your ass to ride on. No, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> That used to be one of my Halloween jokes, man. So my wife, when she hears hey. this shit, she's gonna be like, "Oh, you want a witch, huh?" No, I don't. Well, but no, you know, say, oh, you Halloween, Halloween is fun. It's, I, I think it's uh, a lot of people got the spooky, and it, it's it's for both sides. It's for the people who want to woo scare people. Then there's people who want to dress up like uh, entertainers or dress up like somebody else as a Halloween costume. You know, that's the fun part about it that I had, you know, dressing up, like I said, the witches, the maids, you know, the nurse. Everybody wants a little nurse, you know, the little nurse outfits. So that was cool. Last, then, last night I happened to last night I happened to run into Freddie Cougar and Jason last night. Look at this shit. That's it. Look at it. Look at this shit. That's crazy, man. And you went to a Halloween uh, party? You went to a Halloween party last uh -uh, night? Uh-uh, man. I was at a rooftop yesterday, man. Rooftop, nice getting some food, and everybody had dressed up in costume. You know, it's the last weekend before Halloween, so you know how it is, man. Everybody want to dress up, man. But me, I, lo I love scary movies, man. That's my time of the year besides Christmas and Thanksgiving because I'm a big motherfucker. Are you I love serious, to eat. man? But, man, man I, I love Halloween. Like, Halloween is my thanks, man. If you can't see Michael... My I'm looking at all that, man. Hold on. Hold on. What's, what is that? Uh, camera up. Oh, trying to turn my hand. There we go. Freddy Cougar. Jason. You know what I mean? So I'm a big horror guy, man. Got Killer Instinct on my leg. Got Michael Myers. Got Chucky. Got it. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to go get you, motherfucker. You got Chucky I'm, 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 I'm on your leg, man? Chucky like this, motherfuckers. <laughs> Chucky with the middle finger, man. Dude. Hey, hey, I'm, 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 I'm a little psychotic, my, my, I guess, man. I, 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 my, my middle son, my middle son, he'll be uh, 30, what is this? He'll be 32 um, on the 30th. So um, I, got a, I got a Halloween baby. You know what I'm saying? So I, okay. Yeah, so we used to dress him up with pumpkin and shit like that, you know, make him cute. But God damn, man, you got Freddy Krueger and all this other shit. You, you ain't got the leprechaun nowhere? You ain't got him? I ain't got none of that. I ain't got none you of that. Like I got no, so. This motherfucker, like, I don't want to put a leprechaun right here on my, <laughs> on my lapel. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> But, man, I appreciate y'all rocking with us, man. This episode 39, man, with my co-host, the best, the funniest, man, out of Vegas, from Cleveland Browns. Las you see the Vegas, Brownies on it. They got their got, got they first win. They got their second win of the season this, uh, today I against the – who they pick against the, the Baltimore Ravens. But, man, I appreciate y'all rocking with us, man. Hey, keep on, man. Hit that subscribe button, man. Hit that like, share, and everything, man. Keep us locked in, man. And uh, We got some special guests coming up with y'all real soon, man. We're going to get the further details soon, man. Smiley, take us out. Yo, y'all, I am so happy right now. You see I'm playing with my hat, man. You know, I'm sleeping in all this shit, so I'm going to get a tin strap and put it around my hat so this motherfucker don't come off while I'm sleeping tonight. But, man, thank y'all, man. Enjoy each and every day of your life that you have on the face of this earth. When you wake up, be happy, man, because a lot of motherfuckers didn't wake up today. A lot of them, man. And the ones that are struggling out there, you guys, enjoy life. Life is not supposed to be hard, man. Life is fucking full of challenges, and the more challenges that you get over the better that you'll feel. And when y'all in Las Vegas, come see me. I'm at Planet Hollywood on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays at the Big Black Comedy Club at the V Theater in Planet Hollywood. 
Get your tickets. And also, the best comedy show on wheels. That is my show. I turn a party bus into a comedy club. Y'all in Las Vegas, baby. We got drinks. We got pictures. We got time. Y'all come on out and see us. It's comedian Smiley Joe Wiley, man. And with Durin, man. And guess what? Just like Mike Tyson when Lennox hit him. We out. Out. Oh.